guys. Patience pays off. Patience pays off. Oh, man. This might actually work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, very slowly. Ooh. CVS, boys. Manticore, Manticore, Manticore. Get the Manticore. Get the Manticore. Nice. I'm gonna survive. Nice. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this chat! Look at the boys! As a light tank player, you might be constantly asking yourself which push is the best to counter spot the enemy lights from this side. I have the perfect answer for you. If you're running CVS and have around 500 meters of view range, you can easily spot the enemy light tanks from this push that are trying to take the super aggressive position on the 1 2 line. Just look at this. Onto the. Oh. Come on, he's not gonna survive. Nice! That's my boy, that's my boy. That's why you go into that bush chat, always. If there are no more lightings on the enemy side on Prorovka, all you have to do is to just follow the left side of the bush line here and very slowly start making your way towards the enemy. Don't worry, nobody's going to spot you and you're going to be having some insane view range through the bushes since CVS is a complete game changer. Nice. Stibi. Leo1 is blinding my position, man. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this chat! Oh my god! 6k combined! Look at that, boys! Oh, Leo, STB. Uh huh. Ho ho. Nice. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, how is this guy blinding me twice in a row? Because the IS-7 is right behind you, who is spotted you, dummy. Oh, they shouldn't be IS-7. And this is the only reason the T-100 is not the best passive spotter. It is very long, and if you took careful attention to how I moved, that push that I just entered was very small, and the front of my tank has been sticking out, allowing the enemy who is very high up to spot me. It is truly a miracle I actually survived here, by the way. Go from above now. 240, how far is he? Oh yeah, he's not gonna spot me, ever. Everything left already. I might have to go a little bit lower here. They're really in the back chat, like there, super back. I don't know why they're... This ISM will die, man. He's perma-spotted. 277. Nice. 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 Oh. Uh oh. -huh. Hodge B. Hodge B, my boy. Ay, 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 ay. M60. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Gorilla. Come on, boys. Do the damage. Nice. Holy moly, man. Holy moly, guys. Get the Fosh. Get the Fosh. Bro. Jeez, man. 15k spotting. Already. And now, guys, we're gonna make our move. The final move. To clear out the filth of the enemy team. This could have been a world record run, but of course I had to be stupid and cocky and not fully pay attention to the way I drive. And the fact that this bush is once again very small, I make a huge mistake and expose my tank and the STB who has been surviving there for so long and just staying there gets the better of me and the enemies completely obliterate my remaining HP. Don't be like me, drive responsibly. He stayed there until the end man, like look at that, 16k spotting damage.
spotted 10 tanks. 16,590 spotting damage, mate. First class for that. <laughs> So I discovered this bush in the middle of Live Oaks and it is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to counter spotting YOLOing enemy light tanks and also spotting campers behind the bush has never been easier when you have CVS and optics on the Manticore. Just look at this clip. Ooh. Revolutionary. Revolutionary bushman. He's in the open, man. Just look how far this tank can spot moving enemy tanks. In my opinion, this tank is a lot more fun and rewarding to play than the overpowered EPR. He's been in the open for so long. And only took one shot of damage. <laughs> There's the EPR. Bush is really nice, chat. And by the way, all these leaks that surround you count as bushes and they all give you really nice count value as long as your tank is behind them. Oh my god, this bush is amazing. I got spotted now though, that's fine, I'm safe. When you are playing a light against other lights in the enemy team, it is always worth it to shoot them, even if you get spotted in return, since once those lights are gone, it is going to be an incredible joy just being a ghost on an open map such as this one, since nobody can spot you above 270 meters while moving. And stay tuned, you're going to see this at the end of the battle. Better run, boy! And now I control the map, chat. Since I see that the enemy is just over pushing the bridge side quite hard, I'm going to rotate there to provide vision for my whole team to make sure they can't just push freely into our base. And this is the beauty of playing light tanks, just look how close I am towards the enemy and I'm still unspotted thanks to the bounty exhaust and ridiculously good camo value of the Manticore. Nice. As long as you have fire discipline and do not get greedy and shoot, you can just completely exploit your camo value and the enemy will probably think that you are just in a spotting bush when you are in fact in the open just in front of them. Smunt is a way better spotter though than the T100 passive spotter, feels like. <laughs> 250 meters and it does not spotting me. Munt is a ghost. Hey, the F is still alive man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the F man. These guys, we cannot get any more damage on anyway man, because it's just hold on crowns. Let's go for the F man, we can spot him through the bushes easy. <laughs> I need to keep checking the other side too, in case somebody yolos me. I give away my position for the V4, but I have to support my team with shooting here, otherwise we might not have enough firepower to take those guys down. Wait, can I shoot a crown? A huge weakness of the Manticore that it only has a shell capacity of 20, so you have to make every shot count. Is this going to be enough for the end of the game though? Keep watching. <laughs> You're not gonna fade, bro. Look at that spot, man. 445 spot. Nice. Mant is crazy, man. So this E3 is starting to get dangerously close and I need my team support in taking him down since panning him frontally and especially when his holdout is close to impossible with this gun. It's coming close, bro. It's not that cool. And once again, I'm going to take advantage of those leaks and place a really neat side shot into him, making him a one shot for all of us. Now the enemy team knows where I am, since the E3 probably pinged my position for his team and their arty shoots me. I'm going to have to make a move soon. Shouldn't be able to spot me. Need to get a Leon. Just don't die. Need to pick up the E3 now. Remember when I told you that you're going to rule the map once the enemy lights are dead? Just look how close I can sneak up on this E3 and I'm still not spotted. For some reason our FETD has decided this is going to be a phenomenal idea trying to push in the open instead of waiting for me and well, he died. Let's go kill the RT. I have seven shots.
Where's the alpha of the HE? 480. And now that I have wasted that shot, I only have 6 shots left, which is the exact amount to kill the 2 remaining enemy tanks. The FETD had time to rotate and for sure knows where I am. I will have to try to make it away as fast as possible, but I also have to find him since there's only 2 minutes left. And I actually do. From here on, I cannot run. I have to stay close and abuse the fact that he has zero camo and he's as tall as a damn Empire State Building. That was close, but I think I was unspotted at the very end when he fired, but I obviously have very bad reload and I still can't push him face to face, so I'm going to try to go around him, keeping him under constant spot so I will know exactly from which angle it is best to approach him. So I first load my HE shot, but I realized that if it does very low damage, I will simply not be able to finish him, so I'm going to load my APC or shell instead to have a guaranteed high damage shot. But at the same time, abusing those leaks that I mentioned previously to provide me with cover from getting spotted after I shoot. Now, the FETD thinks that there is a 50% chance I will go and flank him from the other side, but is this going to work out for him? I honestly don't think I had enough time for that, so I just push him from this side instead. I make a very huge mistake here of destroying the corner of this house, but I simply try to avoid the 50 meter proxy range. God, man. Sweet, sweet. We could have had much more spotting damage though if the team decides to shoot more, but hey, I, I, I'm not complaining, man. From the other side on Prorovka, you need to do the same thing in the beginning like in the earlier clip. This bush is great to spot the enemy light tanks and get them killed, because once again, after they are dead, you can just roam the one to end freely and go bush by bush to spot all the enemies out one by one. There's the Manticore. Shoot him. Nice. Shoot him. That's fine. Chief. Chief in the open. Nice. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, bro. Really nice stuff. We have to be careful that the Manticore, if he yolos, will be a little bit back in the bush like this. I'm gonna already turn because I think he's gonna yolo me fully. EBR. Unfortunately, didn't get hit. Oh gosh. If he could spot out the Manticore, man, this could be huge. He's not gonna be very sure of himself. Look now, he's active scouting. He's active scouting now. I could go up here now, I think. I can do that. can do this chat because they're not spotting here and now we should see everything and I mean everything we should see look Yak Panzer you can take this position when the light tanks are not around those guys are permad I am very new to playing light tanks and I make a huge mistake here once again I mentioned that this tank is very long and I'm sitting in this bush like an idiot with my side towards them Meaning that I'm going to be presenting them with a much bigger target to blind than if I just sat with my front towards them, which is fairly narrow. Fifty B. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Legend. Manticore, 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 get the Manticore, get the Manticore. Nice! Good stuff. Since I realize that this bush is super obvious and everybody is constantly going to be blinding it, I move a little bit down, hoping that they will not hit anymore. Nice. If the EBR could die, I could just go down. STRV? Please? Jack Panzer? Come on, Jack Panzer. His side. Grilla, 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 Grilla. Shoot the Grilla, boys. Shoot the Grilla. Come on. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. Kill the Grilla, boys. Come on, kill the Grilla. He's in the open, man. At this point in time, the EBR is probably in a bush in front of me and I'm very reluctant to use the bush line on the 1-2 line which I showed you previously, since he can easily proxy me and I will just die. That's why I'm staying here for so long even though that they are constantly blinding. I took this risk and they hit me a couple of times already. They are so lucky man. They are indeed a little bit lucky, but you did stay like an idiot presenting them with a huge target instead of just a narrow one if you stay with your front towards them. I wanna run, but... On Lakeville, I really like taking this bush over here. It not only allows you to spot the entire middle row, but if you're using CVS and low noise exhaust and the enemy lighting is trying to active scout, you can easily outspot him through the bushes here. Unfortunately, my team doesn't do too much damage on the guys I spot until this happened. Ooh, look guys, patience pays off. Patience pays off. Oh, man. Since I don't know where the enemy EBR is, I take a risk and try to take a more aggressive bush to have better vision on the whole map. Do you think the enemy is going to expect this? Okay, uh, I really hope EBR is not going to get any ideas yoloing here. We could theoretically stay here. It's a risky one, but the team is dying anyway, so... One to one this proxy. Oh my god, EBR is in the mid chat. This might actually work. To my dismay, my team has completely disintegrated by this point and there are not many guys that can shoot all these tanks that I am perma spotting. Imagine if I had a team here and some more accurate shooting from our tanks. Do you think this could have been turned around? Let me know in the comments. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, my theory about this aggressive bush worked. If you are sure the enemy tight tank is not passive scouting in the middle somewhere around here, you can definitely try taking this bush. As you can see the enemy has zero clue where I might be and none of them know they're perma spotted. Once again, this could work way better with a much better team. That's so sad. Oh my god man, this team is so sad bro. Look at the C4. If you are in the mid. Fair enough. Oh boy, you fucked up. Oh boy, oh boy. If he missed. <laughs> oh, guys, that would have been so nice, man. If I have a team, if I have a team that doesn't die after like one second, man, that would have been beautiful. On Ghost Town, two bushes exist that counter enemy lights and are generally very safe to play. This bush is great for a passive play in the beginning, and you should play passive in the beginning because you do not want to die to a stupid proxy or something like that. So, I recommend a careful approach in the beginning of every battle. The two great bushes are here and there from the other side. Enemy Amix can make a mistake. 
What the? <laughs> medium left, medium left. Listen to me, calls. Like, uh, what? I'm gonna go spot this kid out. You can do the same plays I showed you on Proho. If you just keep traveling in the bush line, push by push slowly, your CVS and your camo value will make magic happen. Nice. Go very slowly. Ooh. CVS, boys? Be fully in their face, man. Hallo, guten Tag. Wie geht's dir? Hallo. Hallo. Nice. Nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. He was put me somehow. Depend the H on him. Wow. Nice. So nice, man. <laughs> oh, man. 9k combined almost, guys, in less than 5 minutes. Perfect game, dude. If you got to this point, you are truly a Giga Chad and deserve a reward. On all my lights, I use two setups. Bounty Exhaust, CVS and Optics for open maps to counter enemy lights and to be a spotting demigod. And Bounty Exhaust, Optics and Rammer for times when you get unlucky and get a city map. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, please throw me a like as it helps me grow as a content creator. And also consider checking me out at twitch.tv slash kaizu where I will play lights for most of the time as I'm currently 3 marking both the Manti and the T100. And as always... Me stone cold.